What is up beautiful people of YouTube? Today we're gonna to do a little bit of a new setup. I wanna put the camera in front of me. People said they wanna see me bigger. We can do that. Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's try this out. Tell me what you think about it. And I think it's gonna be a really cool experience also for myself. But today we're gonna to be looking at Shiny with one of their oldest videos that I know. If there's any older video, maybe put it in the comments below. I would love to see what they had even previous to this. But this is a song from 2010, 2011. It's 10 years old but I really want to see how this was prior to any of the videos that we reviewed before. <laughs> a little bit of a fun fact, the song we're reviewing today from Shiny is called Lucifer and my name originates from the name of Lucifer. I don't know what my parents were thinking, but that's totally okay. My name is cool, people think it's cool, as long as I don't tell them about this, that is totally fine. But guys, before the 22nd of February, Shiny's gonna have a comeback. So maybe let's review one more Shiny video after this to go into the saga and explore one more of the videos and on the 22nd, we can review their newest album release. I'm really curious what we're gonna see there. So just tell me what video you want me to review from Shiny for this weekend before the 22nd, then we can do that. And guys, let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into Shiny with Lucifer. Okay, wait a second. So we're only a few seconds in. Can I just say something? I love the background. It has three cars, iconic cars that I really like. We've got the Nissan, I think it's the 350Z. Then we have a Porsche, I think this is the Boxster. I know the front grille. And then we have a BMW Z4. Super cool cars. It reminds me back of the 2010 vibe when these cars were really the thing. It's nice to still see them. I'm happy about that. Awesome. Let's continue anyway. Very funky beat. I think this could be a really fun song to edit because it has a very funky beat to it and it has a very clear beat, which makes it really easy to edit to. And I love when you can edit on beat. Like literally, you can already see it. Like it's literally on beat and we're only six seconds in. Like, doo -doo. you know, the camera zooms in. Super cool, super paying attention to certain things. Let's have a look here again. You see, we're going, doot, doot. Really nice, that's what you call concentrating on the beat as a way of editing. This is something that I do as well. Very interesting backgrounds, by the way. Okay, so we have, I always think about colors a little bit that are also very important. If we look at the colors generally, they look a little plain, they look a little bit basic, but we have these hints of color that stand out. I mean, look here, we have this nice green as a visor or whatever this thing he's wearing. Super nice, super interesting, while the rest is very basic and has a very clean palette. It's a nice little additional color, which just adds a little bit more to the scene itself, a little bit more of a vibrant touch. They are really lip syncing this song. It just looks fantastic. I don't know if it's only this guy, I mean, we're only 12 seconds in, but it looks fine. They're really putting a lot of effort into it. Super nice choreography. Is that Taman, by the way, with the long hair? Can someone tell me that? Damn, Taman grew up 10 years ago. What a difference. Also, there we go again with the color. I just want to point it out. If we look at Taman's pants, it's the only color in the scene, actually. While everything else has this golden sandy color and black, here we can clearly see that the only color that is different is the red. Again, it's small hints of colors that can add a lot to the scene. Very interesting. Very nice editing and the camera always moves. I've never seen it still so far. It either comes from a lower shot like this, from the side, we're gonna have Dutch angles, beautiful. Like literally, and if you look at their entire performance, it really looks as if they were singing on stage in front of millions of people. It just looks so beautiful. Very nice editing. Wait a second, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if you guys notice it. So we're now in one minute, what, like one minute three? Look at the stage where we're on right now. I just wanna go back to another stage and say, is that the same stage? It's exactly the same stage, but it looks completely different. It's amazing what lighting can do. And I like that. I didn't even notice it until now, but it's just so cool that by changing lighting, you can really, really change the entire scene. This is also something that you notice a lot with Taman's videos. They're very good at changing lighting and moods in a certain video, and it causes a completely different effect for a certain scene. And also, it's really just cost-effective. It's really cool what they're doing here. Hello. 
Let's go back to that one minute three. Awesome. Really nice. Okay, I just want to say one thing that I noticed. The only thing that I don't like about this entire scene, and you guys, I hope, agree with me, the car is just way too aggressive in the scene. It just looks like it was a commercial by Porsche, and it's way too clean. Everything else looks very rough. It just looks a little bit downgraded, if I can say it, while the Porsche just looks too perfect for this particular scene. It just looks way too soft, and also it should be silver, and you can see how much editing they did to it. It looks white. Oh, the shots of the group are just beautiful. Everyone is put into scene. Everyone has a purpose in this video. Very nice. For example, here we see the Porsche again. But what you see is that the Porsche is just super clean in the video. It doesn't bother me as much. I can still see the Porsche. It still looks as good as a car, but it's just less aggressive, but it just looks much better as an overall scene. Very nice. Well, not this car, but... Oh man, this whoever did the filming in this is fantastic. Taman, just tell me if I'm wrong, but I have a feeling you're still working with the same people. I'm getting the same vibes from what I see from your videos. It's really nice that even after 10 years, we still get the same vibes from Tame at least. So I'm hoping that they're going to do the same in their comeback videos of Shiny. Little bit of a fun fact, by the way, guys, if you want to spice up your video a little bit and you have something as a this particular shot, all you have to do is work with shadows maybe. I think shadows are one of the best ways to make your shots a little bit more dimensional. For example, here all we have is a very strong light behind a ventilator that keeps on spinning very slowly, but it makes the shadows move super slow as well. But it just makes the scene a little bit more, just gives it a little bit more of an oomph rather than just a very boring pipe look as we can see here. Concrete pipe actually. I'm really curious if they are softening their faces, but so far I don't think so. I mean, like literally, I don't see any softening on their faces beside the makeup. I'm so happy that they didn't because it just looks so much better. Don't soften their faces. Their faces look good the way they are. I'm really happy they didn't touch any of their faces. It must be a newer trend. Let's see if we can pick that up in any of the other videos to see where it kind of started with softening faces. Again, the lip sync is spot on. Bottom shot. Nice panning, panning from right to left, left to right, up to down, very dynamic. The camera never, never stands still here. Very cool, very, very cool. Very nice shots. Cool, cool, cool. This reminds me of actually 2010. I think this came out like in 2008-ish, maybe even earlier, but I saw this in stores sometimes when basically what this is, is nothing more than an array or basically a lot of cameras in a certain order. And when someone jumps in the air, uh, you can just sync them so it kind of films this certain movement in a 3D kind of look. So the camera spins, or not the cameras, they basically go off one by one, but in a circular motion causing this effect, which is super cool, super entertaining. I've never tried this in real, but I always wanted to. But I think that for a setup, it's very simple. It's maybe like 10, 20 cameras. You can play with the amount of cameras, but it's super cool to look at. Super nice fan service. It's not aggressive. But it just gives enough time for everyone to see kind of the group and who is there. Who is part of Shiny? Who are we looking at? Everyone is kind of giving their moment of their thing. This guy has most likely a beautiful smile. That's what he's trying to show here. Another cool smile. Tame it with his kind of attitude. Cool. I still don't like the Porsche. Every time I see it, it's the most aggressive thing that I see there. The lip sync is... Look at this lip sync. How else can I say it? It's just beautiful to look at. Very nice. Super, 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 super. 
whoever was behind the camera work, guys, you did a fantastic job. It just looks like a party. You can really see that putting enough effort into a video, you can really just make this thing look like a bomb. It is just amazing. What did I do with his makeup, by the way, here? It looks like his eyebrow was growing there, and he doesn't have it here. Just a small detail that I noticed, but that's totally fine. It just looks like a smudge. <laughs> Like the lip sync is spot on. Like guys, you nailed everything. This video has everything that I complain about modern K-pop videos, but here it's spot on. Why am I so excited about a video that's 10 years old? Amazing. And it just looks like everyone had their fine. Look at their smiles. Amazing. Amazing. So guys, what did I think about Shiny and Lucifer? Guys, I'm just gonna start off with the grading. This is a solid 10 out of 10. It's a fantastic video. They did everything correct what they didn't do correct in many modern videos. And I'm not talking about Chinese videos, I'm talking about modern K-pop videos. You don't have face softening, you don't have crazy effects, you really see that they're focused on the groups, they look like they're having great fun, the energy is there. Of course, you have this issue with the Porsche, which is for me very frustrating, but you can take it out. But for the rest, they really made up for it because it's just a really fun video. Energetic, fun to watch, it doesn't hurt the eyes, the editing is very clean, we have a lot of fan service, which is also very, very subtle, but it's still very powerful. It's enough time to see and analyze everything. And when we talk about the scenes itself, when we look at the backdrop, the background, it is just fabulous to look at. This video offers everything from where you can learn from and from making any type of music video. It shows how to edit, it shows how to not be boring behind the camera, you should be proactive and film on the spot. Guys, what did you think of Shiny and Lucifer? Did you enjoy this video? Did you not enjoy this video? Is this still a video that you watch till today in 2021? I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna watch this video once again after this review. I just think it's so much fun and you can really see that by the Shiny team. Beautiful, beautiful execution. And also guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want me to review any other Shiny video before the 22nd of February, put it in the comments below. I want to see your recommendations. Let's review one more shiny video to keep the saga going. I'm really excited for the 22nd and I think it's gonna be a bomb. I think it's gonna be amazing. So far, I have not been disappointed by shiny. And oh my God, for a video that's 10 years old, they should redo this video. They should really just redo this with modern cameras, it's gonna be awesome. But yeah guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure you hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed for the next video. And of course, if you wanna be notified for the next video, hit the bell button and I'll see you on the next video. See you then.